You can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with a club. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. I'd rather sing one wild song and burst my heart with it, than live a thousand years watching my digestion and being afraid of the wet. The wild still lingered in him and the wolf in him merely slept. A bone to the dog is not charity. Charity is the bone shared with the dog, when you are just as hungry as the dog. Don't loaf and invite inspiration, light out after it with a club. Life is not always a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes, playing a poor hand well. The proper function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days in trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Show me a man with a tattoo and I'll show you a man with an interesting past. To be able to forget means sanity. Intelligent men are cruel. Stupid men are monstrously cruel. And how have I lived? Frankly and openly, though crudely. I have not been afraid of life. I have not shrunk from it. I have taken it for what it was at its own valuation. And I have not been ashamed of it. Just as it was, it was mine. But I am I and I won't subordinate my taste to the unanimous judgment of mankind. He was a silent fury who no torment could tame. As one grows weaker one is less susceptible to suffering. There is less hurt because there is less to hurt. There is an ecstasy that marks the summit of life, and beyond which life cannot rise. And such is the paradox of living, this ecstasy comes when one is most alive, and it comes as a complete forgetfulness that one is alive. It's better to stand by someone's side than by yourself. Fear urged him to go back but growth drove him on. Love, genuine passionate love, was his for the first time. White Fang knew the law well, to oppress the weak and obey the strong. He was a killer, a thing that prayed, living on the things that lived, unaided, alone, by virtue of his own strength and prowess, surviving triumphantly in a hostile environment where only the strong survive. No, sir. Go to hell sir. It's the best I can do for you sir. He was sounding the deeps of his nature, and of the parts of his nature that were deeper than he, going back into the womb of time. A man with a club that, is a lawmaker, a man to be obeyed, but not necessarily conciliated. The ghostly winter silence had given way to the great spring murmur of awakening life. And at the instant he knew, he ceased to know. This expression of abandon and surrender, of absolute trust, he reserved for the master alone. Limited minds can recognize limitations only in others. He was a man without a past, whose future was the imminent grave and whose present was a bitter fever of living. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes playing a poor hand well. Man rarely places a proper valuation upon his womankind, at least not until deprived of them. 
The function of man is to live, not to exist. He must master or be mastered, while to show mercy was a weakness. Mercy did not exist in the primordial life. It was misunderstood for fear, and such misunderstandings made for death. Kill or be killed, eat or be eaten, was the law, and this mandate, down out of the depths of time, he obeyed. My mistake was in ever opening the books. So that was the way. No fair play. Once down, that was the end of you. They were not half living, or quarter living. They were simply so many bags of bones in which sparks of life fluttered faintly. There is a patience of the wild dog, tireless, persistent as life itself that holds motionless for endless hours the spider in its web, the snake in its coils, the panther in its ambuscade, this patience belongs peculiarly to life when it hunts its living food. I do not live for what the world thinks of me, but for what I think of myself. Every book was a peephole into the realm of knowledge. His hunger fed upon what he read, and increased. No, I did not hate him. The word is too weak. There is no word in the language strong enough to describe my feelings. I can say only that I knew the gnawing of a desire for vengeance on him that was a pain in itself and that exceeded all the bounds of language. The more he studied, the more vistas he caught of fields of knowledge yet unexplored and the regret that days were only twenty-four hours long became a chronic complaint with him. It was the worst hurt he had ever known. He had been suddenly jerked from the heart of civilization and flung into the heart of things primordial. Of her own experience she had no memory of the thing happening, but in her instinct, which was the experience of all mothers of wolves, there lurked a memory of fathers that had eaten their newborn and helpless progeny. The proper function of man is to live, not to exist. You stand on dead men's legs. You've never had any of your own. You couldn't walk alone between two sunrises and hustle the meat for your belly. I was jealous, therefore I loved. Food and fire, protection and companionship, were some of the things he received from the god. In return, he guarded the god's property, defended his body, worked for him, and obeyed him. But the wild is the wild, and motherhood is motherhood, at all times fiercely protective whether in the wild or out of it. He had killed man, the noblest game of all, and he had killed in the face of the law of club and fang. To have a full stomach, to daze lazily in the sunshine such things were remuneration in full for his adores and toils while his ardors and toils were in themselves self-remunerative. They were expressions of life, and life is always happy when it is expressing itself. Is love so gross a thing that it must feed upon publication and public notice? It would seem so.